We love our forest, each and every tree. Our forest shelters us while we visit and provides a habitat for the animals whose home it is. Our forest has been growing since the area was deforested by logging interests over 100 years ago. It's a mature, primarily beech and maple forest that is made up of numerous species. It is a uniquely intergenerational forest with young and old trees growing together. There are many threats to our forest. Natural aging of the forest means that some trees are falling because they are at the end of their lives. Stronger storms with high winds continue and seem to be increasing. Our forest is always changing. Other threats are actively killing some species in our forest. We are losing all of our ash trees to the emerald ash borer. The beech trees are another group that is being threatened by disease. Beech trees have a large canopy and make up about 10 to 15 percent of our forest. Recently, the beech bark disease has come to our woods. This is a multi-year pest that may kill 50 percent outright. Although trees can be unpredictable, we can take down trees that we know are a threat. Dead and dying trees should be removed if they present a threat to humans, property, or power lines. If left, they will eventually fall. By proactively taking down large dead or dying trees, collateral damage to other trees and homes can be reduced, and it provides light for new seedlings and saplings to grow. There are some best practices for tree removal. The best time to contract tree removal is in the late fall, winter, and early spring. Doing so protects the other forest plants from damage when they are dormant. A side benefit of off-season cutting is to reduce noise and disruption to CSA residents. To foster future forest development, if your property has heavy ground coverings, you should plant trees now because they will not grow up naturally to fill in the space left by a fallen tree. Good trees to plant to replace lost trees include oaks, ironwood, and evergreens. It's our responsibility to take care of our forest. Sometimes this means taking down dead or dying trees and sometimes it means planting new ones. Together, we can foster a healthy, diverse forest for future generations.